ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today I learned all about visiting the doctor. Nick had a cold and was feeling icky. Ugh. Mrs. E brought us the letter D and sang a song about being a doctor and other neat jobs. <laughs> Dr. Arbit stopped by with a little lamb and showed us how animals sometimes get hurt and sick too. But with care and time, they can be as good as new. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals. It was a great day. Hi, everybody. It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today, I learned all about going to sleep. Sometimes it's hard to fall asleep, but there are things we can do to help ourselves. Mrs. C brought us the letter S and sang a lullaby. A lullaby is a soothing song that helps you relax and sleep. My friend showed me some relaxing things we can do before we go to bed. We can snuggle with something soft or listen to a story. There was a little pony. I finally fell asleep and had a wonderful dream about all my friends. We were all singing and having a truly duly good time. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals. <laughs> it was a great day. It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today, I learned when we exaggerate or make things up, we're not telling the whole truth. Even little lies can lead to big trouble. Dooley, you had me so upset. I was worried that there was something seriously wrong with the ship. Mrs. Z brought us the letter T. She told us that making things up for fun is good for stories, but not for friends. Dr. Arvin stopped by with a wolf and told us about the boy who cried wolf. Sometimes that's what we call someone when they don't tell the truth. Marty and the kids acted out the story. We had fun pretending and we learned when we tell the truth, others will believe what we say. Making things up is fun for stories and playing games, but we should always tell the truth when it counts. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals. <laughs> it was a great day. It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today I learned all about school. Marty wanted to know what school was like, so the kids made school right inside the spaceship. Mrs. C brought us the letter L and told us that we can be anything we want to be. I draw the world just as I please. Friends learned that the whole world and everything you do is school because you can learn new things every day. C is for the chimpanzee swinging from a tree. B is for the dinosaur we never more will see. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals too. Don't forget to mail yours to the Dooley and Pal Show. P.O. Box 11000, Columbia, South Carolina 29215. <laughs> Daily Dooley Log Entry. Whoop. Hi, everybody. It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today, I learned all about changing plans. We were going to have a great day in the park, but then it started to rain. Oh, no. Rain. Oh, into the spaceship! Mrs. E came and sang the Rainy Day Blues with us. Blues those rainy day blues When I see the sun again We found out that we can make our own fun by choosing other activities, even when it's raining. We can draw and paint. We could play foam basketball right here. All my friends had such a good time playing inside. We even played mirror dancing. <laughs> we all learned that we can change our plans and still have fun no matter what happens. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals. <laughs> it was a great day. Daily duly log entry. Whoop. Hi, everybody. 
It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today, I learned all about families. Mrs. E brought us the letter F for family and sang about how we can show the way we're feeling. Are you hopeful or confused? Feeling sorry or abused? Chris was jealous of his new sister because he thought she would get all his family's attention. It's the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. The baby's not even here yet, and I'm already tired of hearing about it. Dr. Arvin stopped by with a puppy and told us how moms and dads teach their babies and take care of them. Is this the mom, Dr. Arvin? It sure is, and she takes good care of them as they grow. She nurses them, protects them, and they even play together. All my friends learned that being part of a family means sharing and caring for each other. Some duly-rific picture pals. 